Hi guys, my name is Noshad and welcome to the Learn MVC. This is our 16th video and this is also 16th lectures. So in the previous video, I have already told you how to ignore to pass a parameter as an actions, right? How to ignore the pass a parameter as an action name. So in this video, we will see if we have 25 to 30 controls in my form so do you really need to pass that all parameters variable here for the all control so no need to pass a parameter so I just remove that all parameter and uh, I'm just going to the my add customer.cshtml file and you can see here my property name uh, in the customer model you can see the customer name customer address customer contact number and customer email address just copy the property name and um, please make sure your control name your controller name your control name is same as a property name you can see here customer address customer address customer contact number then pass customer contact number customer email address copy this pass the customer email address here that's simple just save and just go to the customer control here and just pass the object of the customer customer underscore o customer nothing else and just remove this installations of the customer object here and save right that's simple. So here now also you don't need to pass this also and you can just remove this one also. Just create the Dell objects, just add the customers object in the customers DB sets and just save changes and redirect to the action. Now just run the application, let's see. Just click on continue. Just click on add customer. Enter the name. I just pass this. So you can see here in the my customer objects they will automatically fill the data customer address customer contact number customer email address and customer name because the my control name and property name is same that's why the fill data automatically just add the object say changes continue and you can see our data is already filled and already added in the database see here the child mumbai this number and if you want to see an sql server this is also possible just execute the sql and you can see here that it have already filled right so it's very easy to use a model binder you can see here i just pass the object of the customer and they will automatically bind the data from the customer object with using the model binding suppose I don't need to pass that object as a parameter so how can I achieve that so you can just remove this one and you can use update model here you can use here update model right and in the update model I just pass here 
uh, actually update model and try update model both is there so we'll do one thing we'll see in our next video what is that update model and try update model how to achieve that update model and try update model okay so i just pass again here So I hope you are understand how to use uh, as a model object how to pass as a parameter of action our model object and how to do the model binding. Right? So it's very easy to use a model binding in ASP dot and MS. I hope you are enjoying with this video. If you like my video, please do not subs uh, do not forget to subscribe my channel and also do not forget to share my video. Thank you very much for the watching this video.